One has a swing that is breathtakingly simple. Another is wickedly precise. One is a ferocious competitor. Another is an artist. About the only thing they have in common is a love for the game and their Rolex timepieces. Your official Rolex jeweler, All Britons, Holland Village, Jackson. All right, here's the game plan. Get out on that field and show the competition we mean business, car business. With Green Angels Ford huge inventory and low, low prices, we'll prove once and for all we're number one. Woo. F-150 XLT Super Cab, zero down, 369 a month, sign and drive, tax and fees included in payment. Ray Daniels Ford. Well, how the dollar says we'll be your best deal. Read Carlos. Now let's get out there and win. Now, hey, you forgot your helmet. Good thing he's got a hard head. Fred, Friday only. Dirt Devil Swivel Glide Vacuum, $39.94. Five hours only. Sing-along cassette players, just $6.97. Fred's Christmas special. Loris watches, only $6.97. 6 to 11 only. Remote control Thunder Cruiser, just $5.94. Five hours only. CD player with AM FM stereo cassette, $59.83. Fred's five hour special. Friday only. Sports is brought to you by Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, long-lasting trucks on the road. To kick off the Chevy year-end event, we added a little razzle-dazzle. Feast your eyes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> razzle-dazzle! Maybe we'll stick to what we do best. Get 0% APR with zero down payment and zero payments for 90 days. Or get 2,000 cash back on all new 2003 Chevy trucks and SUVs. See your Central Mississippi Chevy dealer today. Where are you going? And now, Rob J with sports. Rob, you called it. Well, I'll tell you what was going to happen you before sure it did. happened. Yeah, but you know, it was a pretty interesting game for a few minutes there. It certainly was. <laughs> it certainly was. Since arriving at Mississippi State, Jackie Sherrill has won seven out of 11 Egg Bowls. A win over Ole Miss tonight would not only give Sherrill a happy birthday present, but it would knock the Rebels out of a bowl game for the second straight year. Like Howard said, for a while it seemed as if Sherrill would celebrate his 59th birthday at the expense of the Rebels. The Bulldogs took a 3-0 lead after a 35-yard field goal by Brent Smith, but Eli Manning responded with a screen pass to Chris Collins, and Chris turned it into a 28-yard touchdown, giving the Rebels a 7-3 lead. How about that? Old Miss punt returner Jason Armstead. He put his name on NFL draft boards with incredible returns like this one. Armstead takes it deep into Bulldog territory. He had over 100 yards in punt returns tonight. Now that uh, would lead to a 32-yard field goal attempt by Jonathan Nichols. But look at Michael Goler going up and over to block it. Look at it again. Goler, he's a basketball player, and he would nullify points right there. The dogs could not capitalize. In the third quarter, Eli found Collins again, and look at him go. He takes it all the way in for a 77-yard touchdown, putting the Rebels up 14-3. But there is not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Look at that. That's Ray Ray Bibbins with the 23-yard fourth quarter touchdown, and that closed the lead to 17-12. But after an old Miss interception, Eli put the icing on the cake with a one-yard quarterback sneak and the Egg Bowl goes back to the Rebels as Ole Miss wins 24-12. We will have much more on the Egg Bowl tomorrow night at 6. Southern Mississippi has its sights set on Hawaii. That's because the team that finishes fourth in Conference USA has ties to the Honolulu Bowl. But USM's uh, coach Jeff Bauer says winning Conference USA is still not out of the question. About that a little over a week ago, about mathematically, you know, it could happen. And it's been a wild year in college football for a lot of things that have happened that you never anticipated. And, I mean, it's just a great example of, you know, how important the mental aspect is of this game. All right, wake up, Sheila. USM and ECU will kick it off Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock in Hattiesburg. Jackson State's assistant coach, assistant coaches, rather, remain in limbo following the firing of head coach Robert Hughes. The seven assistant coaches have spent a combined 30 years at JSU. They have all been allowed to reapply for their jobs, which will be determined by the school's next head coach. While none of the coaches would agree to talk on camera, graduate assistant coach Marcus Rogers said the coaching situation at JSU may change his younger brother's mind about enrolling and playing with the Tigers.
doesn't have any idea that, you know, the job situation would be like this because, I mean, I, I call myself, you know, trying to help out Jackson, help us out, you know, as Jacksonians, you know, to make the program a little better. I asked him, you know, to come on down here and transfer or whatever, and now he has committed himself to transfer down here. He has two years left, and now our coach is leaving. So uh, I don't know how he feels anything right now because he's probably, you know, up in the air about everything because, you know, uh, he wanted he wanted to play for Coach Hughes, you know, because I played for Coach Hughes. So that's it. JSU plans to find a new head coach by the end of the year. Thanksgiving Day means football in Detroit. As the Lions hosted New England, the Patriots had no problem with the hapless Rudy Poo Lions as Ted Bruski picks off this Joey Harrington pass, and he takes it in for the touchdown. Let me show you how bad the Detroit Lions are. After that touchdown, watch the running back of the Lions, James Stewart. He runs right into his own man. Look at that. And he gets knocked out. He would get up, though. New England turned out the lights on Detroit, 20 to 12. In Irving, Texas, the Rudy Poo Dallas Cowboys were trying to beat Washington for the 10th straight time. Now, look at this. The Cowboys took the go-ahead score when Joey Galloway would haul in this 41-yard pass. Where are you, Smoot? Get him! And look at him walking. That should be illegal, him doing that. The Cowboys somehow beat the Washington Redskins 27 to 20. The Mississippi Valley State basketball team loses to Texas Pan America, and Michael Jordan says he's going to retire once and for all. You're not surprised about that, are you? Michael Jordan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I thought he'd play forever. He'd be back I'm surprised by the Cowboys more than anything. Uh, why is that? Because they beat somebody. Well, they have a winning tradition. You know that. That's the Cowboys, right? Unlike the uh, Kansas City uh, Papooses. Oh, uh, Chiefs, is that what it is? Anyway, all right, thank you very much, sir. We appreciate that. <laughs> Stay with us, Waltz, up next with one last look at our precision forecast and find out why these feathered friends really have something to be thankful for this holiday. Hot shots straight ahead. Just getting together with family and having a good time and just visiting and just having fun.